I'll tell you one thing. You don't want to go down that road. They say there's a camp down that road. A place where kids walk and talk all funny like. Like they lost their marbles or something. Go down that road and there's a chance you might lose your marbles too. Butthole, you came. I was beginning to think no one would show up. I guess everyone else is busy. Looks like it's just the two of us. <laughs> Sounds like you two could use a little chaos. Look, up there. It's coming right for us. Everybody take it. Everybody take it. Everybody take it. Get, get, get the fuck out of the way. It is I, your old pal, Mintberry Crunch. I picked up your distress call from the berry mines of my home planet. I've come to offer my assistance. Awesome. Well, now that we have a team, let's get to business. As of 0600 this morning, on the second day of camp, all the counselors mysteriously went missing. The mystery of the missing camp counselors. Fear not. Mintberry Crunch is on the job. Great. Let's go inside the camp and look around for Scooby Clues. This must be where they bury all the empty paint cans when they finish with it. But what does this have to do with the missing counselors? Good question. Maybe we should ask those monsters. Again. Monsters? Ah, monsters! Get a hold of yourself. We're gonna make it out of here. My alien powers have little effect on the enemy. I must be weak from my intergalactic travels. Your planet calls it jet lag. But oh, it's up to you. You must look within your butt and find the strength to save us all. No pressure. Oh my god. Butthole found the survival power of the final girl in every horror movie ever. Right here in this cabin. What are the chances? Now we can fight our way out. Lead the way, final girl. I don't think this is a good idea, Kelly. Maybe we should just stay here. Jesus. Sack the Fuck up, Butters! I found one of the counselors. I'm afraid he's dead. Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's just sleeping. No, he's super dead. I poked him with a stick. Come on, this is totally fake. Someone's just trying to scare us. First fake monsters, and now a fake body. If this was a real body, then this would be a real eyeball. And this would be real blood. Hmm, this is definitely real blood. Hey man, you hired us to dress up like monsters and scare a bunch of kids. You didn't think nothing about no dead counselor. I can't go back to jail, man. You know what? You're crazy. I didn't know we were gonna work for somebody so twisted and evil. You can't leave now. My plan is almost complete. Go back out there and do what I fucking paid you to do. I'll call your parole officer and tell him you made me get naked and watch Kevin Spacey movies. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna tie you up and throw you in the water. No! It's the last counselor, and she's alive. Good work, butthole. Now we still have a chance to save the king. What are you waiting for, Minzy? Take care of her. Oh my god, it's Nathan. Butthole, did you see anything in that cabin? Any clues to what's going on here? Nope. Butthole doesn't know anything. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where are the other counselors? Are they okay? They all died brutal and tragic deaths. But as long as you're alive, we can still save the camp this summer. Hooray! 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 That's right, because nothing on this planet can stop Lake Tartikaka from being open all summer long. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Hello, Big Perry Crunch. You! What are you doing here? I followed your mint trail across the galaxy, Crunch. I've been waiting for the perfect time to strike. The perfect time for payback. Leave this place. We shall settle our differences another time. Thank you, Butthole. Your ass powers were the key to getting up on that shelf. This is just what I need to... Destroy Mintberry Crunch. Look, there they are. Timmy, how could you release the female? No, you've taken everything from me, Crunch. Now I'm going to take everything from you with this. Oh no, no, my kryptonite. It's gotta be whole milker, or 2% at the least. It's a trap. That's right. Not only have I mind fucked your friend, I've also taken possession of two of Earth's strongest warriors. Get him, minions. Yeah, he called us minions, boss. I don't think we're the main bad guys anymore. Shut up, Mimsy! We did it! We saved the last counselor! Uh, again! Wait! I think I get it now! I survived because I'm like the final girl at the end of...
of every horror movie. The one that lives in the first movie, but dies violently in the sequel. Well, I guess I better get ready for camp. Come on, boys. Let's go roast some marshmallows. Fuck you, Jenny. Geez, what's her problem? She didn't even thank us. Hey, why did that guy hate you so much anyway? I don't know. That Zargonor and his parents used to be slaves in my family's berry mines on our home planet. Until he escaped. Oh, wait a second. Your family owned his family? Sure. How else do you think we picked all those cotton berries? Cotton berries? So he was a slave? Yes, and that's why they hated us. For our freedom. But with your help, I beat him like a runaway slave. And now, he's dead. Shabagoo! So he's like a slave master? Well, one of our beloved characters has a dark facet of his past that conflicts with contemporary moral standards, but also has an interesting complexity to... Uh, now, you really don't want to go down that road. 